Or Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh. Bah Hashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Bah Hashem, Rechah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the love brethren out there pushing the word and the spirit and the truth. Pushing their lives and their freedom to do so. And to those men, I say Shalom. While we're out there, I'll film peace and blessings upon you. Here I have a Hebrew lesson going into Psalms, the uh, book of Psalms 51 and 7. Okay. And it reads, it says, Purge me with hyssop. And I shall be clean. It says, Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Okay, and that's Psalm 51 and 7. Now, in the Hebrew, that will be in Hebrew, that will be Zacha Tanaya, Zacha Tanaya, Ba'azawab, Wa'atahar, Thabtha. Kabasa Naya Wama Shalak Wama Shalag Allah Banyan. Okay. I'm gonna read it one more time, then I'm gonna go over it. Thaha Tanaya Baazawab Wa Atahar Thaka Basanaya Wama Shalag Allah Bayan. Okay. Now Thachatanaya means purge me. Ba'azawab uh in hissa. Ba mini in a zawab hissa. Wa a tahar and I clean. Okay, tahar also means to be pure. Okay. But in this context it means to be clean. Wa mini an and a Meaning I, wa atahar, and I clean, the kabasanaya, wash me. Wa ma shalag, then snow. Allah bayan, Allah bayan, whiter. Okay, so I'm gonna go over it one more time. It says, Thaka, Thaka tanaya, wa azawab, wa atahar, the kabasanaya, the. I'm gonna read that one more time. The ka basanaya wa mashalag ala banyan. Okay, and that's Psalms 51 and 7. I'm reading it in English one more time. And it says, Psalms, book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 7. And it says, Purge me in hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Okay, and that was Psalms 51 and 7 in the Hebrew. So with that, Hope you brothers out there was edified. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Mashiach Ke Washai, by Shem Rachakdash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and citation to the elect brethren out there pushing the word, sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, Shalom Makim. I just want to give a tidbit on the uh, the herb hyssop that was mentioned in Psalms 51 and 7. And right now I'm on a website called tappingroots.blogspot.com. Okay. This came out Monday, February 11th, 2013. And this person had to say, uh, this is what the person had to say about the herb uh, hyssop. It says, spiritual washes to hyssop in Psalms 51. It says, one of my favorite cleansing baths is extremely simple, but very potent. So the, the herb hyssop is to be, uh, is very potent. It says, and it's based all around the use of the herb hyssop. It says, hyssop biblical uh, cleansing herb. It says, possessing a wonderful aromic and slightly minty scent. It says hyssop is one of the several herbs mentioned in the scriptures. It says mentioned for its cleansing power. So the herb hyssop has a spiritual as well as a, a physical cleansing power. It says hyssop has been used for generations to accomplish just that. It says medically, it is an uh, expectorant and antiseptic, antiseptic with cough suppressant uh, properties when used properly so hyssop is a uh it's an antibiotic okay you could use it to fight off uh colds uh, coughs and things in that manner so it has expectorant and antiseptic uh with cough suppressant properties when used properly it says note that the hyssop essential oil can call uh can so call seizures it says and so should be handled with care so just like anything you know you have to use it uh, with balance, okay? You have to use it with balance. You can't overdo it.
okay because it will have its a negative a negative effects as well but when used properly you know it has its benefits it says in conjure we frequently use the plant itself in cleansing work probably the most uh probably it says probably the most common use is brewing up a tea so you can make a hyssop tea it says with it boiling a handful of the dried uh, woody herb in water until it darkens to a pleasant smelling infusion then this water is either added to mopping water from cleansing the house or adding the spiritual baths intended of intoning for sins cleanse away bad habits over or removing uh, jinxes curses and cross conditions okay and it says it is frequently employed in the way along with Psalms 51. So you could make a hip hop bath if you wanted to for uh, atoning away your sins and cleansing your sins. This is why King David had said in Psalms 51 and 7. Okay. Psalms 51 and 7. I, I believe this is the NIV translation. But, you know, when your brothers get a chance to read Psalms 51 and 7 again, okay. Because you can make a spiritual bath out of, out of it as well as a tea. It says to uh, make atonement for your sins. Okay, to cleanse away your sins or bad habits. So with that, that was just a little, uh, just a little information on the herb hyssop that was mentioned in Psalms, the 51st chapter. So with that, I hope you brothers out there was edified. With that, I say shalom.